Right, so here we are at the aluminium stockholders. Um, as you can tell by the accent, I'm UK based, East Yorkshire, uh, and I'm seeing aluminium, not aluminium for you American viewers, but this is what we use. So this is a company called Alco. They're really good aluminium stockholders. Managed to get it back without losing any. And first use of the uh, roof rack there. That. That's what 820 quid's worth of aluminium looks like. Uh, probably about $1,200 or something, depending on the exchange rate, I suppose. So this is what we're starting with. Our steel work frame. We've got all the uh, posts in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and build with the aluminium. See the aluminium stacked up there? So we're gonna start with a, we're gonna use this channel. Aluminium channel, that's what we're gonna start with first. And then we're gonna fill it with this aluminium planking. As you'll see, we've got, we're gonna cut this on this cross cut saw. This is one of them uh, multi-blades that cuts steel, aluminium and wood. I don't know how good it would do cutting steel, man. Let's start. So, our first cut was a little bit rough. I had to clean it up with a file. But what I've done is, I've put a new blade, a new disc on this uh, chop saw. And it, uh, Cross cut saw it's made a massive difference. The next cut was almost perfect, but I, I didn't even have to really run the file over it, it was nice and clean. But as you can see, so we're going to start with the channel and do these ends at 45. Um, you'll see when I put them on the, on the truck while we're doing them at 45. Right, so now we've got a couple of bits of aluminium cut, you can see why at 45 the edges. I'm just, I've, look, I'll just stand back a bit. You can see I've just clamped them in place. There's our joins. And then what I've done is we're actually drilling these and riveting them. Can you see there? They're just drilled and riveted in. Obviously I put more rivets in. Right, so that's one side. Fully railed with the channel, with the aluminium channel, as you can see. Excuse the sunlight. And the truck's going past. And you, as you can see in here, what I've done is it's all just pop riveted. Can you see that? All the way along and up the sides. So now let's cut some plank. So, we've got two of the boards in now. Starting to take shape. So these just slot in from the top and then clip together. They are quite hard to get them to clip together. You have to use a piece of wood and a rubber mallet to really get them in, maybe a bit of lube, a bit of uh, Vaseline or WD-40 or something. Uh, as you can see, we've got to get up over this now. Now, this stuff is available in 200 mil and 100 mil so I've got a length of 100 mil to go on next and that will take us up to this gap that'll fill that so you can see there that's the 200 mil and this is the 100 mil we'll get a sheet out there we'll cut some of this and the next piece to go on the top will be 100 mil. That'll take us up over that locker box. Right. So yeah, we've cut some of the 100 mil stuff, and I've just put two pieces together to show you how it clicks in. So that just clicks together like that. You see that? And if you push it far enough, these little click, these little lips, click over and lock it in place. It's not quite as easy as it looks. It's quite hard to get it in. You've really got to. Stand it on its edge, put a piece of wood on there and hit it with a mallet to get it in. Um, the first one I did was really heavy going. So the second one I the second one I had a go at, 
I squirted WD-40, using oil in on here to get it in. Um, you're going to need some kind of lube. Everything goes in easier with a bit of lube. So we've just put the 100ml piece in. Um, we used the, uh, the Vaseline as a lubricant. It went in miles easier. As you can see now, that's leveled it right up nicely with the top of the toolbox. So the next 200ml piece should go right across the top of that now. So this is the lube we're using, Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. Lip balm. Right, so that's the sides complete. Got the top panel in. I'll come round the uh, round the other side. The lights a bit better. Stand back a bit. You're starting to get the shape of it now. There it is all finished, finally. It's a bit dirty because uh, I've been using it. I've been earning some money. Gotta say, I'm really pleased with it.